Whether you're a Division I football player, a high school football player, a gymnast, a Major League Baseball player, it's a lot. You know, there's a lot on them. I don't sit down very well. I just watch my TV shows. Started up with weaving, I have a little loom. And Something mindless and mindful all at once. You know, we actually release a lot of our emotional energy in a lot of ways, right? Talking's one, but also through doing things through our hands is another form of self-regulation. Weaving helps Kylie humans self-regulate. Doing things with our hands connects both sides of our brains. Sometimes it's hard to make eye contact when you're talking about really hard stuff. A lot of tough conversations happen here in Kylie's office. She's a social worker for University of Texas Athletics. A resource available and free for all UT athletes. You know, mental health is a real issue. And I think for us in the sporting world, it's taken us some time to actually recognize that. That they're dealing with much more inside than maybe we gave them credit for. Conversations surrounding mental health are happening more frequently in the sports world. Advocates include Naomi Osaka in tennis, Kevin Love in basketball, and most recently, Simone Biles in gymnastics on sports' brightest stage. Saying that she has a case of the twisties. For the 2021 National Championship celebration! As for college athletes, the NCAA released a guide to mental health best practices in 2016. That's where Ashley Harmon comes in. She was hired to build and lead UT's clinical behavioral health program. Before me, UT did have mental health services. Um, they were housed in academics, however, and there was nobody in-house that did services. There wasn't really education, um, meetings with coaches, things like that. Today, the program is housed in sports medicine. There's two full-time social workers, Ashley and Kylie, plus four contracted therapists and one contracted psychiatrist. In 2016, there was only roughly around 900 appointments for behavioral health services. In the past two years, we've averaged around 3,000. Many of those appointments are filled with conversations about everyday life as a college kid. Athletes are people, and so they come in with people issues. The key difference... They also have pressures of uh, sports on a big scale at a big school. Specific issues they see most commonly are centered around performance, which Kylie and Ashley say all starts with mental health. Our whole body and brain is like one big machine, and so when one part of the machine is not working correctly, it affects everything else. So they work with a lot of athletes on visualization and grounding. For a football student athlete, I may say, okay, what is what is at every single stadium you go to? And they may say a goalpost, and I say, okay, so that is your anchor. So that way, no matter where you are, focus on your anchor. They also say many athletes struggle with something called identity foreclosure, which is when their main identity is being an athlete. The problem with that is that their mood will fluctuate based on their performance. And so we really want to also, you know, teach them like you're a student, you're a son, you're a friend. And in today's world, dealing with social media. Back in the day, all of the opinions of everybody else were left for the water cooler at work. The athletes never heard that. All of that water cooler talk now is directed directly at the athlete, the coach, the whatever they are. They can't find an avenue essentially to defend themselves in, in a way that never feels comfortable for them. So they harbor all of these feelings and they don't know what to do with them. When we shame ourselves or when somebody shames us, our cognitive brain literally turns off. And so we can't learn from our mistakes. It is impossible. Ashley says she's proud of what she's built, but she knows not all athletes are so lucky. For those maybe looking to start similar programs, here's her advice. Start with one person, just one, and I promise you, if you have a program and you build it, 
they will come. Her dream is for more people to learn this distinction about her field. We all have mental health. Not everybody has a mental illness. Because on the field, we see all the muscles, we see the speed, we see how big, how fast, how strong. But the heart really is kind of the same size. That really hasn't changed over time.